Hello guys, welcome. This is the tutorial for the NX Siemens NX software, which is widely used in industry for designing by designers. This tutorial is basically for mechanical engineers who want to use NX software for design and which engineers are shifting on NX or which are new in mechanical design. So stay tuned. This is the local UI of NX 1926 edition. This is NX learning edition. You can directly download it freely from the NX website. Now let us explore some of the areas of the NX. This is the typical UI of NX. You can see one find a command search bar here. Here you can see automatic updates and one help here. This is the minimize ribbon option. The ribbons can be minimized. That's great. Now on the left hand side you have file, home and tools tab. In the file tab you can click on new to create new files. Okay. Then open an existing file. Then close all parts. Then preferences, assemblies, user interface, etc. etc. The JT file that is generally associated with Team Center users. Then import and export options. Then interpolate utilities is also there. Customer defaults are also there. Then execute. Execute. You can run a grip program from here. NX Open Grip. Debug a grip program. Then NX Open program. Override some of the Java parameters and environment variables. Check Java for NX. Okay. And override Python parameters. Then here comes the help menu, which is the guide for new users. In the help menu, you will get NX help. What's new? Then release new, release notes. What's new guide, learning advantage, etc. Same stuff. Then log file, then online technical support is also there. But I think this is for premium users, not for students. Then PLM community forum, then about NX. After clicking about NX, you will see that this is NX 1934, which is subsidiary of 1926 edition. And some of the physical RAM, etc. parameters, you can export it or print it. Now let us, let me explain some of the UI parameters. This is the menu from where you can also get the file new. Then view options, then tools is also there, then assemblies, then information, etc. stuff is there. You can right click here and undock this ribbon and drag anywhere. Now you can see I can drag this menu. Now I will dock it. So it is also there. Now then let us see what are the options. Then visual reporting is there. Developer is there for some of the development related engineers which want to record a journal and etc. stuff. Then assemblies is also there. You can see the assembly options. Then PMI product and manufacturing information. It's great for the designers. Now let us explore. And on the left hand side there is reserves bar option. You can have different options, display on right, tabs, what tabs do you want. Then this is the web browser, which will take you towards the, some of the NX design tutorials. And that's also great. Then history, the recently opened components by you can see in the history. Then this is the role tab. This one is great. Now I will explain what is role tab. The different users use generally different roles. So if you are a manufacturing planning manufacturing planner or let us say it will take your UI to that role. I suggest users to be on the not cam advanced on the advanced role. When you open NX for the first time you will be on either on the welcome page or the essentials page. Now I will explain you what is the difference and why I choose the role advanced. After clicking on file new, you will get different options, templates that are there for modeling. First of all model, then assemblies for assemblies, then shape studio, then sheet metal, then routing, 
then mechanical routing is there then electrical routing etc stuff is there now after clicking on model you can see when we are in the advanced role you will get lots of options so you don't have to go right click here and customize this ribbon because whatever advanced designer needs is always there now I will exit it and will show the welcome role now again we will go file new now let us go to another tab where is application you can see that here the options got reduced in the analysis there is only major option while when we were in the advanced tab we had lots of options there now let us switch again to the advanced one to switching in the roles you can directly switch it from here also now you can see there are different options available in the analysis again coming to the basics as a beginner we will do file new and we will choose the model here are different options for the drawings the drawing templates are also available for a1 a2 a3 a4 then the layouts etc you can have your customized drawing templates as well then comes the additive manufacturing the machine line planner the manufacturing then line designer is also there then press line inspection is also there and multi-axis deposition is also there coming back to model here we can choose the units millimeter inches or all by default it is set to millimeters then the new file name I will keep it as it is Siemens NX Seos part files in the .pit extension itself and the folder which in which your drawing will be saved will be the UGII folder of your Siemens installation directory so make sure you change this or you will miss your drawing file okay now let us go and click ok here you can cancel this also after clicking ok the menu you can see that the datum plane the sketch extrude etc stuff is there the more tab then make globe planar etc now let us do one simple sketch you can see this is on plane on path I will keep it on plane now invert new plane I am on profile I will press the escape button I will click one circle you can directly see the window is showing the tentative diameter you can directly type here 100 millimeter or even you can change it afterwards after typing 100 double click the dimension and change it to your respective one that you want you can see remove expression major geometry or keep expression address geometry I will see or check remove expression and major geometry so the 120 millimeter diameter circle has been drawn here now click on finish after clicking on finish the general option at the start I suggest users is to perform extrusion that we will drag that circle into the material form the distance let us say 120 and click ok now you can see that 120 millimeter extrusion has been done here now what if you want to have a hole here in the NX you can have the hole command here directly put here specify point okay then close finish okay you can see these two holes are directly drawn but I don't want it that way and 
it performs the operation which is as similar as drilling machine you can delete it here the whole operation because we don't want to draw a hole we will do a extrude cut select the surface click sketch click ok draw one circle let us say 100 millimeter click escape drag it here and enter 100 then close here click on finish then we will extrude it to extrude cut in NX you have to go it until extended or subtract operation subtract operation click subtract then the value is there 120 we require 120 millimeter that's okay then select apply you can see that extrude cut has been done here so these are the basic operations extrude and extrude cut in NX and on the left hand side you can see one assembly navigator is there as we are in the part modeling only one part is there then the part navigator you can see which commands you have used the sketch command the extrude then again sketch and then again extrude similarly we can have edge blend command it is similar as fillet command which is generally in other software click here then click here then 2mm show results you can directly show the results then click undo continuity g2 curvature or g1 curvature let us go with g2 curvature then you can have a variable radius as well then stop short of corner option is also there then length limit is also there click apply and click cancel you can see that the fillet or the edge blend is there to avoid sharp corners now there is one method that I suggest rather than doing extrude cut first of all I will delete this I hope you are understanding this I will delete this now we want to drill or extrude cut directly here the special feature west command shell is present here select the surfaces and directly select the thickness let us say 5 mm so your extrude cut is done without any sketch this command is available in Siemens NX and I think Dazzle system SOLIDWORKS also has this command this is really useful for new age of designers okay thanks for now I think today we have covered extrude option extrude cut option and one feature based operation shell as well and along with that we have edge blend also okay thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel have a great day merry christmas